Whaling began in prehistoric times and was initially confined to inshore waters. Early whaling and gathering is generally considered to have had little ecological impact. The development of modern whaling techniques was spurred in the 19th century by the increase in demand for whale oil and later by a demand for margarine and later meat. The Pamilican Filipinos, who until 1994 also practiced subsistence whaling, have had since reverted to a thriving whale-watching ecotourism industry and are the major driver of a Philippine government who banned whaling. This thriving ecotourist community was bolstered by a favourable exchange rate, accessibility of the island to major infrastructures, geocentrality, favourable governmental policies and their ability to utilise popular languages in English and French. La Malera and La Makera neighbouring Sola are the two remaining Indonesian whale communities. The hunters obey religious taboos that ensure that they use every part of the animal, but half the catch is kept in the village, the rest is bartered in local markets. In 1973, an unsuccessful attempt by the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization to modernize the Lamaleran whale hunt was thwarted, as it did not suit their natural resources, cultural tenets and style. The Lamalaran community and their centuries-old traditions are under threat as Indonesian institutions move to create the largest marine conservation park on their doorsteps, banning whaling altogether. The alternative suggested by the Indonesian government is the livelihood no longer supported by subsistence whaling, which is to be displaced by seagrass agriculture. Lamalaran leaders fear their community and traditions will be lost, as compensation an annual whale hunt will be institutionalized to appease Lamalarans. Coupled with this loss, the island will undergo islandization, as it will be worked to provide alternative food sources. This relates to greater dependence on machinery, greater need for fresh water, and a localized loss of biodiversity. Other stakeholders, such as the Roman Catholic Church, reinforce Lamalaran beliefs about their connection to nature and the whale well hunt. Other factors which hinder this community embarking on an ecotourism project are the dialects and sub-dialects indigenous to this area, the devout nature of the belief system, lack of infrastructure and the remoteness of their island in proximity to tourist destinations.